Hello everyone. My guest for this interview is a very, very young model and a beauty queen. She represented the Philippines in the Supermodel International 2019 held in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And she also won as Miss World Philippines Eco Teen International 2021. And she represented the country in the Miss Eco Teen International Contest held in Egypt where she won first runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, Tatiana Alexi, Austria. after after Christmas <laughs> I'm doing well thank you so much for inviting me here it's an honor to be a part of your channel kasi alam niyo po before she left for abroad nung nag-compete siya mamaya po kikwento kikwento niya po sa atin yun pero nag, nag-show pa po kami sa Okada so I at nagkita pa kami wished her luck at natuwa naman ako sa resulta mamaya kikwento niya po yan mamaya sa atin okay Tatiana Ah, ang bata mo pa. Bata kita na nakilala. 16 ka lang ba, no? 16 ka yes, lang yata, no? Eh, no? Or 15? 16, I think so. No, 16, no. Ang aga mo, uh, may height ka kasi, the looks nandiyan dyan, the appeal nandiyan dyan, ano? Uh, sumaba ka na sa modeling competitions and pageants. Simula ba nung bata ka, yan lang yung pangarap mong pasukan Actually, direct no po. I, I, since I was a kid, I was really focused on studies talaga. And mm-hmm. while the idea was there, you know, being told by relatives na ay matangkad siya, pwede, it was never really number one on my list of priorities. But when the opportunity presented itself, you know, one day may nahita kaming casting call for Philippine Fashion Week. There we went. We met uh, Tita Tere Gomez who introduced me to you and Tito Marcel and that mm-hmm. opened up a lot of new avenues for me and talaga. that's when I realized na talaga. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know I, I don't believe I, I cannot believe that you know we were part of your growth as a model and a beauty queen kaya lang syempre on our part nakakatuwa din naman Tatiana because we saw you grow we saw you grow in the industry and you know she's a fine lady you know mamaya, mamaya marami pa kayong malalaman about Tatiana diba Tatiana yes Direct. Ayun. So, you represented the Philippines in Supermodel International 2019 na naginanap sa Chiang Mai, no? sa Thailand. And nanalo ka na special award, the new face model. Uh, 
award. And uh, kumusta yung, kasi modeling competition yung Tatiana eh. Kumusta yes, yung, yung experience mo sa pag-represent ng bansa natin doon? And Thailand pa naman is my favorite country. So talagang hindi ko pa pwedeng hindi tanawin sa'yo to. <laughs> <laughs> Back in um, Supermodel naman, I was appointed after Ate Karen and everything was really fast-paced kasi I have never competed internationally before. And to, to, to do so at the age of 16, that really woke me up na you need to take this seriously. And thankfully, I have my mentors who helped me, Miss Nix who helped me with my makeup, the people behind Empire who helped me with my requirements. And I was able to... do my best in Thailand. And of course, Derek, I brought along with me the knowledge you have imparted me as well during nung catwalk pa lang, especially with your presentation. Yung may notes ka pa po no, about modeling. <laughs> Hanggang ngayon, nasa Naalala isa yun. Ko tala- yes, Derek, <laughs> nasa akin yun, nasa isang album. Sabi ko, ikikip ko yan. Kasi it really meant a lot to me. You know, when you, iba kasi yung may, mag-google ka lang, mag-youtube ka lang on how to be a model. Iba yung may mentor ka po talaga from the industry. And that For me, that would be you, Paul. One of you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for considering me as your mentor. Hindi naman ako nagsisi kung sakali. Tatiana, ikaw, isa ka sa mga modelo ngayon, no? Na, ma, na, well, in this generation, na sinasabi nilang may malaking future sa industry, no? How do you maintain yourself, especially with regard to measurements? Any special diet or regimen that you follow? Ooh, special diet? Well, My journey with fitness wasn't actually very linear. Siyempre, my ups and downs po tayo. And there was really a lot of adjustments because what works for one model won't necessarily work with me. Mm, We all have oh. our different body types. And as for me, I realized na I'm, I shouldn't be too strict with what I eat because it, it's what fuels my day. You know, when mm. we work, when I go to school, when I go home, we really need food. We need to... you know, we need the nutrients from the food. And so what mm-hmm. I thought of was, kailangan ko lang talaga bumawi sa exercise. And that's my mm. number one thing. You know, I Do can eat, I won't gym? restrict myself. Yes, direct. I go mm, to the okay. gym, but I think my main cardio would be just walking. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just walk every day for an hour and it helps a lot. And Tapos people yung... usually overlook the act of walking, pero... It really helps, direct. Kasi yung skwelahan mo pa, malaki, malaking campus talagang. Yes. If ever mag-face-to-face na, lalakad ka ng lalakad doon. <laughs> Tatakbo pag na-late. Gan- <laughs> typical, typical. Papayat talaga. <laughs> Tapos, Tatiana, sumali ka sa Miss World Philippines, no? And uh, nanalo ka ng Miss Ecutin Philippines 2021. Siyempre, I watched. I was very proud. ay uh, nasubaybayan ko yung journey mo. Siyempre, no, hindi pa pwedeng hindi. Without you knowing it, nandyan ako sa likod. No? Nandyan lang ako, oh, nagmamanman. Of course, of course, Tatiana. Di ba pinapadalan ko kayo ng mga video? Totoo yun. Yung sinasabi kong top 10, ganito, nan, lagi ka nagpapasalamat. Direct, thank you for considering me. Of course. Kasi nakita ko naman yung potential. Di ba? So, uh, Ano, tapos, ano yung pinaka, ito, ito ba yung palagang title na pinuntirya, pinuntirya mo? Ang daming title sa Miss World Philippines eh. Yes, yung ba right. talaga yung pinuntirya mo? Yung Miss, Miss Ecotin Philippines? Honestly, I, when I, this was also my first pageant. If it, mm-hmm. There's a difference between modeling competitions and pageant. Yes. This was my first pageant ever. And national pa siya at that. So when mm-hmm. I came into this national pageant, I came with the belief of aiming for the main title, which was Miss World. Because oh, I was also told by my mentors that you shouldn't squeeze yourself into a certain mold just because of your age. If you could mm-hmm. do better, if you could shine, if you could perform in your own way on that stage on Coronation Night, then do so. And that's what I did. But mm-hmm. I'm very much grateful for the Miss Eco Teen crown because when I got that, I didn't, feel, I didn't feel like I was being denied. It didn't felt like a denial for Miss World, but rather a redirection into a, a crown that was a better fit for me, especially with my age. Ayun na nga. Kasi you represented the country despite the COVID surge no, last December. Na, na, na represent mo ang bansa natin sa Miss Eco Teen International sa Egypt. Africa yun, di ba? Nandun yung, yung Omicron variant yes, before, di ba? Kumusta naman nung nirepresent mo ang bansa natin sa Miss Ecotin International? 
it was so fun, Derek. I went in there. Compared to my time in Thailand, I can say 100%. I was much more prepared this time. Especially, mm-hmm. I have my own camp, um, Aces and Queens, which I'm grateful for. The people who helped me, my fellow queens who gave me advice. I was definitely coming into this competition a lot more prepared and a lot more assured of myself that I can mm-hmm. perform. And during the competition, I really just strive to enjoy to enjoy why also dapat nakalabas naka makeup na ready na ako mm-hmm. that was that's one thing you also taught me direct na parang mm-hmm. as a model dapat pag nakuna ng camera dapat ready mm-hmm. that's diba? also what i remembered when i was in egypt and with that advice it helped me to relax na parang kalma lang you should enjoy the okay. competition but at the same time remember that you're wearing the philippine sash so everything that i do everything that i say will reflect upon me and my country as well. Pero Tatiana, wala bang pressure sa iyo na yung reigning queen was a Filipina at co-model mo pa, you know, kaibigan mo pa, 'di ba? Wala bang wala bang pressure on your part? There's definitely pressure and especially that the reigning queen was a Filipina and my co-model. Parang nandoon na po talaga yung pressure and I think with with these times, you know, Roberta was really sweet. She was really mm-hmm. sweet, but at the same time, I never felt that I had um, this edge among the other queens. We, it was a really fair fight, direct. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I just really accepted what happened. So I'm really grateful for everything that has happened, especially with the advice Roberta also gave me. She mm-hmm. was so... She really imparted me advice because I also asked for it because I really appreciate her wisdom because she was really before she came before me and she also was one of the people who encouraged me to join to try pageantry. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. after catwalk there she went into pageantry I remained in mm-hmm. modeling. So but mm-hmm. we stayed in touch we remained friends we would reply to each other in Instagram stories. But I think direct we also have to remember that whether or not the reigning queen was a Filipina or my co-model, there will always be a pressure to perform. Mm-hmm. Kasi the Philippines is the Philippines and Correct. we have that sash factor. The sash factor, yes. So, parang, even if we remove her from the list of the factors, I will always have that pressure to perform. And I hope that I carried that pressure well from what you can remember. Yun. Tatiana, gusto ko lang malaman. Ano yung naramdaman mo nung tinawag ka na first runner-up? Knowing knowing ha, na alam ng karamihan na you deserved the title. You deserve Aww, to win. Yun ang comments ng karamihan. Yun ang comments ng karamihan. At syempre ako, yun din ang ano ko, yung syempre, uh, yun ang gusto ko sana for you, no, na manalo si sana. Kaya nung tinawag kang first, nanood ako eh. Nanood ako. I watched Pag-puyot it. Pagpuyot kayo direct. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, sina- inano ko, alam mo naman ako pag kilala ko yung lumalaban, I really give time, no? Kasi nga, syempre, nakakatuwa din, no? On my part na nandun kayo, na lumalaban for the country. Uh, in my, sabi ko nga sa'yo, in my own ways, uh, hindi man ako nakikita, hindi man ako na nagsasalita, but I'm there always to support, no? Uh, comments kasi ng karamihan, Tatiana, you deserved to win the title. What did you feel nung tinawag kang first runner-up? When I was called first runner-up, nun talaga yung shock. For the first 10 <laughs> seconds, I stood there, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I walked. Siyempre yung galaw mm. dapat as if ikaw pa rin talaga yung nanalo. And that's what oh. I remembered. And I really appreciate even the girl, the caliber of the girls were, were just phenomenal. I mean, me, USA, Egypt, and Belgium, we were the runner-ups. And mm. honestly, I felt grateful for being first runner-up because they, they also represented their country really well. Mm-hmm. But of course, Eric, after the shock, after the adrenaline subsides, you're left with your thoughts. So, I was like, I'm going to that <laughs> night. I asked myself, why kaya? And, you know, if it's anything, one of the things I do remember, that I do actively recall, is the closed door interview. The Velpo Direct, they have mm-hmm. uh, a lot of impact on what might be the results of the finals. Mm. I remembered po kasi the difference between my closed door interview with the rest of the girls because of we would discuss what we were asked and how we answered. Parang chikahan lang din ng mga co-candidates. Oh, oh. I, I went into the closed door interview expecting to be asked 
about eco since it's eco teen or anything about mm-hmm. the environment or about our advocacy which i i have i mm-hmm. have prepared with my local government as well but surprisingly i was asked a personal question about the pressure of performing a back to back Ah, you and see. That's why yes. I asked the question earlier also. Yes, Derek. So out of all the candidates, they were all presented with environmental questions. I was the only one presented with a personal question about mm. the back-to-back and about performing, you know, the same way that the reigning queen did. Mm. So when I realized ko that, oh, maybe that's what set me apart. That's what brought me to first runner-up instead of the main title which is winning eco team. Although paganda rin naman si Vietnam ano, maganda rin naman. And she's really sweet then direct. She's 14 mm-hmm. so she's ah, really young. 14 lang 'yon. Yes, Derek. She's Ooh. 14. She's in 7th grade and I really treated her like my little sister kasi even during the touring magkata magkasama kami lahat. Talaga, talaga. Yes, oh, ilang after after nung pageant, ilang days ka pa dun sa Egypt? I stayed one more day just to visit the museum because I really wanted to see the mummies. And I think out of everything that I did, yung mummies talaga yung nagpatibok ng puso ko because I was really fascinated <laughs> Wait, by... Napuntahan mo ba? Napunt- napuntahan mo ba yung bago nilang ano? Yung ba- parang museum yes, na malaki? It's not yet open. Ah, hindi pa rin. Mm, Pero sayang nakita ko na kasi sa- sayang. Oh, maganda sana yun, no? Uh, Tatiana. Balik tayo direct. Dags- <laughs> ah, yan mo. Pag may pagkakataon. <laughs> hindi, tsaka yung time na yun, Tatiana, medyo lumalala na yung Omicron, eh, no? So, na- nakatakot na rin na magstay sa Africa. So, you had to be back. Magpapasko na rin eh, di ba? Yes, Derek. And especially, oh. parang medyo unstable yung protocols that time. You, you wouldn't oh. know if nadami ba yung days required for quarantine. Luckily enough, yung mm-hmm. time ko, five oh. days lang po siya. Ah, okay. Bumalik na ulit sa five days ngayon eh. Di ba nag-10 mm-hmm. nag ulit eh, di ba? Pero ngayon oh, five na ulit. Mabuti naman, di ka nagtagas. Pero nag-Christmas ka sa quarantine? Sa quarantine, oh. yes. Ano sabi ng parents mo? <laughs> Pinadalhan po nila ako ng, well, kasi after Egypt, especially you, you try their cuisine, but at the same time, mm-hmm. deprive ka ng ibang oh. national cu- cuisine. So, when I came back from the Philippines, sabi ko, gusto ko kumain ng curry. <laughs> so, pinadalhan nila ako ng curry for Christmas. I was pretty satisfied there. Gumawin naman po ako nung New Year na, since ah, pwede, naka-home pwede quarantine naman. na po ako nun. Pwede naman, ano, pwede magpadala ng food sa quarantine hotel mo that time. Yes, direct. Yung ah. actually nag-order. Oh, okay. Pero ang hirap din, ano? First Christmas mo yata away from your parents, no? Yeah. Oh, di ba? Okay lang yan, Tatiana. Marami yes, pa namang direct. panahon. Sabi ko nga dito sa susunod kong tanong, bata ka pa at marami ka pang pwedeng gawin no, sa buhay. Ano ba ang plans mo sa modeling and pageant scenes? Sige nga. For now, direct. I'm sure yung, makaka- I'm sure yung makakapanood dito. Aba, 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 aba. Ano na? <laughs> ano ang plan? Well, Sige nga. Direct. Honestly po talaga, when it comes to pageantry, I'll be taking a sabbatical. I'll be taking a break okay. muna from pageantry. Okay. And I'll be focusing on my remaining months as a reigning Miss Eco Teen Philippines with my okay. projects, especially with ALV and the Miss World Organization. But for modeling, tuloy-tuloy naman po ako. So, direct of course. my shows kayo. Dapat so, lang, no? I'm one call away. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, Tatiana, ano pang plano mo sa, sa pageantry? Kunwari, in, in five years, kasi 18 ka lang, eh. by in five years, 23 ka. Meron ka ba bang plano? When people would ask me that, and they do ask a lot na, what's mm-hmm. my next pageant? I, I just reply with, kunin ko po muna yung diploma ko. <laughs> Mm. Gusto ko, I'll, I'll graduate first and then maybe I'll think about it because it's difficult to just choose a pageant with a closed eye because for a pageant, mm-hmm. may hinanap silang girl. There's a different kind of girl that they're looking for, a girl that they won't want to crown. And mm-hmm. that's not something you can choose in a day. That's not a decision you can make in a day. Which brings me, no? Kasi despite all your, despite all your accomplishments, no? Sa pageant rin, sa modeling, isa kang diligent na estudyante. And it seems na determined ka talagang tapusin ng pag-aaral mo, no? Sa college. Um, why do you strive 
to graduate from your course despite the accolades and uh, that you have attained so far? Bakit kailangan mo talagang magkaroon ng diploma, tapusin ng course? Ano yung nasa sa loob mo? Well, Derek, I always strive to remember as well that before I was a model, before I was a beauty queen, I have always been a student. I have always loved learning and it's something that I appreciate in life because not everyone has the opportunity to do so. Mm-hmm. And so when I study, I remember that I'm fulfilling my dream for myself and my parents' dream for me as well. Natapusin yung pag-aaral and it's really a priority to graduate with my degree, especially in physical therapy because it's something that I actually want to study. Although, direct, although going through although, high school, direct, di ba, may math. Oh, oh. Not everyone likes math. I don't like math myself. But now I'm in college, you have the choice to study something that you ha- you're actually curious about. So physical therapy ang course mo ngayon? Yes, direct. Kota course yan sa UST. Imagine yes, nakapasok I mean, yes, pa. <laughs> oh, I know because my sisters are graduates of UST, no? Oh. Uh, medical technology, tapos nag-doktor sa... Direct quota course din niya. <laughs> Oo, pero I mean, mas kota yung physical therapy and uh, mapalino ka nga ang bata ka kasi mas kota yan eh, yung physical therapy sa UST. At saka, I'm sure after this, eh, maganda naman siguro ang buhay, ano? Pag, pag natapos mo na yan. <laughs> Hopefully, direct. God willing. I know. Kasi, I, I know. Uh, ma- mahal ang bayad sa mga physical therapists. Eh. May plano ka ba mag-medicine? Actually, before. Nung high school, game na game po talaga ako mag-medicine. Especially watching the shows that I watch. Grey's mm-hmm. Anatomy. Yung mga medical mm-hmm. drama. Correct. But then now, I, I come to think of it. Maybe I need some time to think more on that decision. Because it's not mm-hmm. a decision to be made lightly. Especially during this pandemic, you see how the lives of the doctors were turned mm-hmm. upside down. It's a lot mm-hmm. of responsibility and a lot of time that you have to sacrifice. And so I have to think if I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Hindi, kaya yan. Marunong ka naman magano ng ano mo na schedule mo eh. Which brings me, kilala na kita Tatiana, ilang taon na kitang kilala. You're very sweet, patient disciplined. Sa tingin mo ba, ito ba yung traits na uh, kung bakit uh, nananalo ka sa mga pageants at saka uh, kung bakit isa, tina, tinatawag ka nilang isa sa mga future ng modeling industry? I, I think definitely yes, Derek, to some extent. But also there's a lot more traits out there that would empower a woman like me. And, mm-hmm. you know, beside being, thank you for thinking of me of a sweet, patient, and disciplined, it's also with the knowledge that I have cultivated from my mentors. You know, mm-hmm. things that past queens have told me to remember, things that people in the industry, the makeup artists, the hairstylists, the stylists themselves, the designers, all these tips, they make up a trait of a beauty queen because you come into battle. It's, it's like an arena. It's your own mm-hmm. little arena and Instead of swords, instead of armor, you have your evening gown and your makeup. Mm, correct. Yun yung, ganun yung battlefield ng pageant. At saka malala din dyan, Tatiana, yung nakatayo ka na ilang oras in three, four yes. inches na heels. Especially It's in not this a joke. world. Oo, oh, oh, oh. anak ko, oh, oh. seven hours yeah. ba yun? Hi, seven Arnold. Hours, Hi, Arnold. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Arnold. Hi, Arnold. Arnold na so, naman ako. Ayun po, Derek. I think beyond you know, the sweetness and the patience. It's really an honor that you also called me disciplined because that also stemmed from catwalk because mm-hmm. number one thing I remember, pag si Derek kata, bawal malate. Bawal malate. <laughs> Sobra naman kayo. <laughs> Kaya, eh, yes, Derek. Even in my international pageant na I would be there. I would be running to whatever the uh, call time would be or wherever yung lobby ba yun kung saan kami mag-gather at the girls before a shoot. Sabi ko ba, mm. <laughs> Oo, at Tatiana, malaking bagay yan, no? Malaking bagay. I mean, sabihin nyo na masyado kung stricto sa bagay na yun. But, you know, it forms you as a person, no? Yes. ba diba? So, kaya, ba diba? I hope nakatulong naman ako sa aking munting pamamaraan sa iyong growth sa beauty and pageant industries. Anyway, at Tatiana, may mga nanonood na mga bagets, no? May mga, siyempre may mga nangangarap din, no? Na sundan yung footsteps mo. Anong magandang advice ang maibibigay mo sa kanila? 
it's also something that I actively tell myself over and over again na with this industry, whether it be modeling or pageantry, there's a lot of glitz and glamour and makeup chairs and spotlights and camera and photo shoots that would easily make you blinded. But I hope that beyond the glitz and glamour, you always have to keep your feet on the ground. You have to remember the things that make you grounded and remember who you are beyond the makeup, beyond the photo shoot, beyond the fashion shows. And for young girls, since you are young, stay, stay in school. Keep studying, keep reading, keep you know, growing your mind and opening your mind to different possibilities out there because pageantry is this small world where everyone knows each other but at the same time it can also be a stepping stone to something greater that you've never imagined yourself being a part of before and yeah. I'm so excited for the young girls out there to you know grow as a woman in pageantry and modeling and also listen to your parents <laughs> number course, one listen to elders and the mentors everything there's a reason that they tell you what they tell you because they have been there and they know what happens and their advice is a hundred percent true Tatiana, matanong ko lang no, before we end this interview. Dalawang beses mo na sinuot yung sash na Philippines sa dibdib mo. Anong klase ba yung feeling na alam mong yung P-H-I-L-I-P-P-I-N-E-S <laughs> nakasulat sa sash na nasa dibdib mo? Ano yung totoong feeling? It's very humbling, Direk, that I get to be a part of this very small club of women who gotten the opportunity of representing the Philippines because not everyone gets to do that. Mm -hmm. And out of 100 girls, down to the 45 that were screened for Miss World or for any pageant, you know, this one teenager happened to get the sash. And it's a humbling experience, uh, an experience I'm really grateful for until today. And I think until, you know, the end of time, lagi ko siyang maalala direct. It's it has brought me so many memories. I have met so many people, even in Thailand, and both in Thailand and Egypt. The people mm. that I have met there, the girls I have met there, we still keep in touch until today. Good, that's kami, good. The group chat kami, and you know, whenever I would post something on Instagram, I, we would comment on each other's photos. It's this kind of sisterhood that you can't find anywhere else. It's really rare and it's really special, and. I'm just really so grateful for everything hindi that na ako, happened hindi in na my ako life. Nagtataka. Hindi na ako nagtataka, Tatiana. Because, you know, I'm not exaggerating things. Nag nagsimula nga ito sa, sa modeling industry, nene pa po talaga. At mabait na po talaga yan. <laughs> mabait na po talaga yan. Kaya she's one of the gen new models of this generation. At sinasabi ko talaga. And uh, I tell her that talagang diretso na. Sinasabi ko naman palagi sa'yo that you have a bright future in the industry. Uh, keep it up, Tatiana. Sana hindi magbago talaga ha? hanggang manalo ng international title. Ha? Promise, Direk. <laughs> At saka pag ano ka na rin, ha? pag uh, ano ito, pag physical therapist ka na, ang mahal-mahal pa naman ang bayad sa mga PT. So, I'm sure. Dahil din naman ako, Direk. <laughs> oh, ayan. Ayun na, Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes to this interview to Miss World so, Philippines. So, anytime, Direk. I'm so grateful for you for having me here and mm -hmm. for always being one of my number one supporters and my one of my wisest mentors really everything that you have advised to me and the other girls both in catwalk competitions i've always taken those down and i always remember it and i take it with me wherever i go Oh, Arnold Vega Fria, thank you din. Ay, nirap ko muna si Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba? I mean, Arnold's a friend. Kaya, um, ano naman. Pag, I'm sure baka mapanood niya to despite his busy schedule. Kasi nangangampanya rin, di ba? Yes, so, dear. I hope he can watch this. And uh, I'm sure he's very, very, very proud of you. Oh, thank you, Derek. So, thank you, Tatiana. Thank you for saying yes. Thank you so much. And thank you to the viewers. I hope you keep supporting Direct Kata's YouTube channel. It's really good. As a viewer myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay.